Welcome back to Mixing Room B at the Hardcastle Studios. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit more funky sort of stuff. I've um, got a rhythm in my head which goes something like this. So that's the start of it and if I add like a little bit of a loop behind it, it would sound like this. about that. Um, what's next? Maybe a bit of wah wah guitar. Um, yeah, let's see what ideas we come up with that. Maybe Paul Jr. will pop over and play a bit of sax, maybe put a bit of keyboards down and stuff, just see how it builds up. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy these little sort of things. So um, on to the next bit. Right, so what we're going to do, a couple of little bits of keyboard next, just a really simple riff, but quite a groovy one, but keeping it simple so that everything has a chance to breathe. So something like... Really simple, okay, but then when you hear that with the track and the rest of it... So now we'll add a, add a little bit of guitar and stuff over it and see what happens. I mean, I don't know where I go half the time. Sometimes I do a bit of a bass line, there's no bass on it yet, or I do something else, but I think maybe just a little bit of rhythm guitar just to uh, whack it along. So here we go. So here we are with a bit of wah wah guitar. You'll have to excuse the video because the landscape mode on the phone keeps going stupid, but um, it just shows you what we do anyway. So it's a little. So in with the track. Um, it's just giving you an idea of how a track builds up. So you've got that now, so you've got the bass. Um, have I done the bass? Can't remember. Uh, maybe I'll do that as well in a minute. But it just shows you basically building up a track and how it goes. Um, yeah, so on to the next bit. Huh. <clears throat> so a quick little idea for the bass. Um, I would do something like... Uh that um, we'll record that and I'll play it back to you.
that's how basically I make up a track. Um, it takes me about, I don't know, sometimes three to four days. This one started um, a few days ago and it's only taken me a day so far to get that far. So I'm not gonna add too much more to it because otherwise, like I normally do, I always overdub too much and then it sounds mushy. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. Paul June is gonna come over and uh, put some sax on it. So I'll see if I can video that for you as well. But I hope you enjoy these sort of little things just showing you um, how I write. This is my little writing studio. I've got a proper studio over the road, but this is just, just as, as easy. Got my little drum machine, keyboards, guitar, bit of bass, Fender Rhodes over there. And um, yeah, that's it really. So the album comes out in September. I do hope you can enjoy it. Um, I do like this one, though, I must admit. I'm getting funky, y'all. <laughs> See ya. Hi guys, Paul Harcastle Jr. here. That's just asked me to pop over to the studio today to play some sax on one of the new tracks that he's working on. So without further ado, I'm going to play it and I uh, hope you like it. <laughs> 